are back here on Carolina Women. We are with our friends here at Kelly Karen Design. It's kind of quiet here today. A lot of people are at a luncheon, so this is super fun. I've got the interns grounded today, and I'm super excited. You are both SCAD graduates, and I want to share um, or chat a little bit about um, your background in education, because I know that SCAD is one of the foremost design schools. And so where are you from, and when did you graduate? Gabrielle. So I am from Buffalo, New York originally, and I graduated from SCAD March of 2022. And who do you work with here? I work with Sarah Boyles and Brianna. Okay, and then Danielle, how about you? Um, I'm from Florida originally, and I graduated in March of 2022, and I work with Sarah and Lydia. What I'd love to do is chat a little bit about the program at SCAD. When people think of design, they're like, oh, I can be a decorator. All I have to do is go out and just be able to be, you know, pick out pretty colors and things like that. What I've learned from you and really from Kelly Karen is design is a whole heck of a lot more than that. Can you guys share and talk among yourselves too about, and I'll ask you first, um, a little bit about what an interior design program really focuses on, some of the things that you took. Yeah, so at SCAD I feel like they focus a lot on problem solving, so it kind of goes through oh. every step of the process from beginning to end of how you can essentially take um, just this idea and being able to work out every little detail of it in every way, including paint and flooring and just going through furniture, but also like creating concepts and being able to just look at everything as a whole and say like, here's the quote unquote problem or the situ or the goal that oh, we're trying goal. to okay, establish and how do we get there through every stage of the design process. It's interesting because as a psychologist, I have a goal, what, what do I want to achieve? And then objectives, how am I going to do it? Yes. So it's really kind of like that. What are some of the classes that people might not expect when you're in a design major at SCAD? I mean, I think people don't understand. I mean, it's going to SCAD, you have your studio classes. Got it. Now, at other colleges, they may not be as long okay. as at SCAD. We sit there for two days a week for five and a half hours straight. Oh, do you really? Working. <laughs> and then you'll see us there on the weekends because there's not enough time in the day to get it done. There's so much process that goes into it. For design nowadays, is there a lot? I mean, when I come in, I feel like there's a lot of hands-on work, but I also see a lot of computer work, a lot of attention to detail mm -hmm. that people don't really recognize. Is that something that does the detail work? Did that surprise you when you got into the field? It definitely, um, I think in school we do focus a lot on the details as okay. well. So being able to try to transition that into the work mm -hmm. course where I feel like there's even more little details that you have to think about. Um, it definitely prepared us to be able to start looking at those more, especially at like Kelly Karen, because we are all about details here and just little pops of color on like welt cords and things right. like that. It all transitions through everything. Was there a difference between attending school and then coming to the kind of the, the in vivo, the real life experience of being with a designer? And I know I hate to put you on the spot, but what are your personal favorites? You were saying initially, I was like, what kind of design do you like for you? Yeah, I kind of go more towards transitional style with a bit of eclectic kind of pops. I really like color. I like some unique uh, textures and just materials in the space. And I just like it to feel homey and like me. So I think that design is like so personal to each person. How about you, Gabrielle? What do you love? Yeah, I mean, I really love everything. Okay. From color to just sticking to your neutrals in a home. I, I love dabbling in a little bit of everything. I think if we stuck in one area, I may get a little bored of it. So I love being here at Kelly Karen Designs. We can do it all. One of the things that I notice is you guys seem pretty collaborative. We've had the opportunity to come in and watch everybody at work. I mean, it's, it, I could not, I was not like, are you, because you guys are all really designers. A lot of input from everyone to get the perfect fit for your clients. Yeah, we get input. When you're staying at the studio, you may be oh, can I get help with this? Can I get your insights on that? And it's just a group. A group effort, yeah. different perspectives. I have to say this too, we are curated today. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and I, I already want to buy some of the outfits that everybody's wearing. I mean, they're really fantastic. And so it's not just about design of furniture or design of spaces and places, but also 
kind of curating yourself too. It looks mm -hmm. great. Yes. You guys are fun. I'm so glad you came on. And was it awful or not so bad? <laughs> no, right, it was okay. exactly. Well, I tell you what, it's a pleasure, Danielle, to see you, Gabrielle, to see you. Thank you all for joining us here on Carolina Women. Have a safe and wonderful week. Bye-bye.